Jesus, who has Welcome to Leaders Full Pairs. My name's Kirsty. And I'm Phil. And you join us as we work through a collection of games that are suitable as stocking fillers, as secret Santa presents, and just generally great gifts for friends and family. It doesn't just have to be at Christmas either. No. And if you're a budget conscious architect looking to put your first <laughs> planning development in place, then let me welcome you to Welcome To. Uh, welcome To um, is a game of city planning, which sounds thrilling and exciting. I'm sure you'll all agree. It, it is good. <laughs> it is good. It's better than it sounds. <laughs> um, there are uh, quite a few variants of Welcome To. This is the original, and that's the one we'll be playing today. But there are many variants. Feel free to look them up on the internet, because they will have the information for you. All of them play very similarly, and all of them are great fun. They play one to a hundred players or more. A wow. um, hundred players, because I think the limitation of these sheets is a hundred in the pad. <laughs> but just go wild, really. Um, it's a, a relatively short game. They're about 25 minutes to 45 minutes in length. And uh, yeah, without any further ado, let's have a look at how the game plays. Mm. I think you made it sound boring. Sound it it's got nice swimming pools. Hello. <laughs> okay, so on your turn, <laughs> on our turn, uh, the the mayor of the t of the city, um, maybe, will be turning over these three. Um, in fact, we'll do that now. We'll turn these over, and they will provide a combination of effects. So on your turn, you will be able to pick a combination of two. For both effects. The first effect is the number effect, which allows you to build a number in one of your th three streets. Now the streets must ascend numerically, so from the lowest number to the highest number. They don't have to be purely sequential, so you can have gaps, but they can never go um, two in a row with an exception, um, but they can almost always increment by at least one as they go up. Okay. Um, so that's fine. Um, and then after you've put your place, your building, you can place it any of these streets in any location. After you've placed your building, you'll also be able to take one of these effect, the associated effect. So in this one, this is our, um, our landscape gardener making the entire area a little bit more beautiful. Oh. And uh, which means you get to cross off one of these here. Little flowers. Um, they start off at zero points for each one. Once you cross one off, it then goes up to two points. And obviously the longest street has the biggest accumulator. So that's um, this effect. This effect is your real estate agent and increases the value of certain areas within your plan. Yeah, and it's just here. So if I take this effect, I can choose uh, how big a, ha a sort of housing area on my street is going to score. So at the moment, um, anyone's buildings with one, it's going to score me one. But if I cross that off, any buildings that are just an area of one, they're only going to score me three. Now, that's the actions that we've got out before us, but there are other actions in the game that can be shown on this player aid. So if you have a quick look down here, I'll go through the other actions with you. The fencing action allows you to partition your street. Uh, partitioning your street allows you to divide uh, on these dotted lines your street up in as many segments as you want. So what we have here is if you divide into a, a block of two, when you come to score that block of two, as long as they've both got numbers in, you're going to score based on what's underneath the two uh, blocks of three, four, five, or six. Which is likewise. why you want to start blocking these off yeah, because it then it makes it more valuable. Indeed. Um, so you can fence wherever you want. Now, when we're fencing, there are other things to take into consideration, um, and that's typically these objective cards. Um, we'll come on to those in a bit more detail, but remember that a lot of these involve fencing. So the next one down on our list is the real estate agent. We've talked about that. The next one down is, is the bits, is the dividing of two lots into in, uh, one lot into two. So it allows you, if you take a bis action, to um, turn a house into an apartment. Yeah, basically. <laughs> um, so it allows you to put a, 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 the same number again next door. So you can put a four next to a four, but the second four adds bis next to it. And it's effectively like having a 4A and a 4B. Yeah. But also it proves that you're a lazy town planner and architect. And so you're going to cross off one of these bisses, which are all negative numbers at the end of the game. Oh, no, so that like one's worthy numbers. of note. Um, so that's bis. 
The uh, roadwork sign um, allows you to bring in additional workers to help construct, which allows you to add up to two, so one, zero, zero, one or two, plus or minus to any of these. So this three could become a one or a five, um, and then you can use that. So that's this one. Once you do that, you also cross it off here. And um, as you complete columns and rows, you've got a little bit of uh, bonus scoring at the end as well. Pools allow you, if you build in a house with a pool, to circle the pool. Uh, when you circle the pool, you'll be crossing it off here, and that will be more bonus points for you at the end of the game. So lots of bonus points to be claimed. The pool will be an image. Of the pool. Here. They'll yes. look like that, to be fair. Yes, exactly that. <laughs> yeah, exactly like that. So um, as I turn those cards over, we'll make some decisions. The other thing we're going to score points on is these objectives. So... This is suburbs with only one house in them, and we need six of those. The first person to get it will score eight points, at which point we'll flip it, and that bit's been approved, but four points will still be available for the next player. Okay. Uh, this one requires suburbs with four houses and five houses. Once you've scored it, score it. And the number three one is two, three, and five. So we've got those bonus points to chase for as well. Oh. So we've got some negative points, so we've got some positive points, and we've got... We've got a housing development to put up, people. So yes, we have. <laughs> let's develop houses. Are we starting with these? Yes, we are. Okay. Should we turn this around so you can see that? That's fine, yeah. Okay. What are you going to call your town? Phil Town. Nice. Um, it's not working. Yeah. It's a pencil. It's really hard for it to not work. Um, okay. Right then, over to you. Well, we oh, picked some things this time. Hmm. Oh, game ends. The game what? ends when a number of conditions are met. When you cannot play, you're going to take one of these housing permits. When someone completes all those housing permits, that ends the game. Oh, no. um, also, when one player completes all of these, that will also end the game. Or if you filled up all your streets, that's not going to happen. Okay. So we got our first fence and our first pool. <laughs> Interesting. Ooh. So I'm gonna put. I'm gonna take a pool. I think I'm guessing you've taken a pool as well. <laughs> I don't know why, but the pools feel like they're quite um, rare. Yeah. Um, well, we're gonna have another one coming up soon anyway. So, pool, oh, fence, yes, we are. <laughs> and forest. Uh, just so you know, I'm not like like a, a sort of mind oh. reader. Um, <laughs> the indicator of what is on the other side of the card is in the top corner and bottom corner. I was very lucky there. Yeah, I'm going to take that pool as well. I was so and lucky there. Because set up for it. Yeah, you really were. Away. <laughs> okay. Take an eight, and we're gonna take an L. We get some fencing. We get some. Ooh. We got another pool. A pool at fourteen. That feels promising. How high do the numbers go up to? Fifteen. So with the plus or minus two, you can get to seventeen. Mm. Decisions, decisions. I'm gonna take my pool. I'm gonna take my. I think risky I'm going pool. to do that as well. I'm gonna put it here at the end of this row here. My little pool with its little umbrellas out, sunbathing. While well, Kirsty's topping up a tan, or turning some more <laughs> cards over. Unfortunately, I don't tan. Oh, that's rather convenient. <laughs> mm -hmm. I'm take a fifteen. And a fence. That's what I've done too. And now we've got like for like the same. <laughs> Curse is copying. Really I'm not, I did mine first. If you play back, I did mine first. 
Oh wow, trees are armor. Okay, that was a no-brainer <laughs> for me. <laughs> and me. We got some fences. We got a pool. Oh, pool Ooh. on one. Ooh. Oh, oh no. I'm nice. taking that. Oh, well, you got my pool there, though. I feel like this game's going well for me already. Mm. And me. So, do they have to be on the same street? No, nope, they don't have to be so on the same street. So, how about these? Nope, they don't have to be on the same so street. So, that five, that four, and that one can be on one street? Yeah, if you want, or on different just streets. Oh, I need to just remember what it was. I put that there and I need Six. a fence. Yeah, on that street. So, and I need a five. Mm. Hmm. Okay. It's harder when I've done what I've done. <laughs> oh, rubbish. It starts at one, does it? The houses. Yeah. It's bad when you can't count, which I'm struggling with. Apparently. <laughs> oh, a pool. Damn it. On five. That's not useful to me. It is to me, though. The rarity that they come up. Oh, I don't know. I haven't been ticking off my fours, I've just realised. So it's, I should have one, two, three, four. One, two. Oh, I think that's going to annoy you. No! <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not. That's perfect. Three for the pool. I'll take a six. Two, three, four, five. I didn't even look at the others. <laughs> That might have been more useful to me. Your pool obsessed you. I know. <laughs> oh. I'm crazy. I've gone insane. Um, I'm going to take the 11. I'm going to play it as a 12. Mm -hmm. Good move. Is that what you did? No, I did the 11 for the pool. Mm -hmm. Okay. We do go through this more than once, don't Yeah, we? potentially. Good. It depends how quickly you crash and burn, to be fair. Um, Take a 14. Yeah, I was thinking I should have probably done that. I think I should have taken a two with the fence, to be honest. Yeah, I've not been doing a lot of fencing at the moment. Oh, well, it's, wow. it's all about real estate agents today. What have we got? Eight, eight, and 12. Does it have to be a 12? Me too. Well, that's interesting. Okay. So that can become a nine, can't it? Yep. I know it sounds ridiculous because there's a nine there, but I don't <laughs> want the seven or a yeah, just eleven. Take that take either. That's right, isn't it? Yeah, but you can just take that as a nine. You don't have to change that's it. That's what you had to do this. You just cross it no, off no, But you can add zero, yeah. It doesn't matter anyway, does it? So. 
I'm going to go with an 11. Trees, trees. I know real estate. Real estate. Yeah, real estate. I think for what that means. Oh. Mm. I'll take the trees for fun. I'm taking a two. Oh, I did. I just crossed them on here. This should have been a real estate and I've crossed off a forest. So I need to. That forest just... isn't there. Okay. Next time I take a forest and it's not taken. There you go. A four for trees. Taking a ten. Mm. Mm. I'm going to take a four. I'm going to take a four too. <gasps> Crazy. Crazy behaviour. Okay. Mm. Yeah, me too. I've got that one. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four. Yep, you have to go over. Right, you total down. So that's number two. Nine. So I'm going to put a fence here. Okay, you done? Mm-hmm. Difficult. Yeah. It's a chance of what I do now. I'm to be nine, I think. So I'll put another fence in. Okay, now randomly take a seven in the middle of nowhere. And I'll give that is a seven is an increase in depth. Okay. Oh gosh. It's gonna have to be that I think. Which Ooh, one? Real estate. Oh yeah. Well yeah, it will have to be that. So whether I go for there or there. I'll take that eleven. And increase. Oh, then there's nowhere to place. That one. I'm going to put the 11 there, which is a real estate. They're place. all real estate. And place it. Mm. It's not what I thought it was going to be actually. It's interesting, is it not? No. So, whether I go here or there, I think I'm going to go there, you know? I'm going to go crazy. You can go eight there. 13 with a real estate. Ready? Mm -hmm. I have no idea how you're doing at the moment or how I'm um, doing. I'm not even looking at yours, I'm too busy doing my own. Okay. <laughs> oh no. This is where I start to go wrong. No, it's not. I'll take an 11, I think. So, can I ask a question? You can. So, if I took the 5, do I have to do the bits? No. Because I'm not actually it's doing it. It's your choice. So, I can just take the number and ignore that? Yeah. Okay. I'd like to do that. So, actually, these are benefits. Yeah, but you can, like... The bis is almost like I need a bis at some point, but I'm not ready for it just yet. Yeah, I don't need it yet. Um, but I definitely need one. And you still get to place a normal number before adding mm. another number in with a bis next to it. Okay. <laughs> <sighs> 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 
in chunks. I'm going to do a seven with a tree. And I've already got that one, so I'm just leaving that across there. That's fine. And I'm taking a seven as well. <laughs> it's a little forest. It is a little forest. Ten of this. That might work, actually. Right, fancy's tempting me. <laughs> so ten of this twice. <laughs> or twelve. That doesn't help me at all. None of those help. <laughs> My three tens have both got all got pulls. Yep. But I'm going to have to take one. So I'm going to take. Oh, I've messed up there. I'm going to have to take that one and a bis. And I'm going to take seven bis. Oh, so you can use the bis anyway? Yeah. Um, yeah, on the row that you're playing. So I put a ten there. Mm hmm. And put the seven bits there. So that could be twelve and a fence there. That's boxing me a bit, but never mind. That's a five and a four. One, two, three, four. Ready? Yeah, I did a 12 on a fence. I think I regret it. Because yeah. that's a 12 on a fence as well. <sighs> I needed that swimming pool to not be a seven. I can't go, I don't think. Are you kidding me? No, I'm not. I can't go. So that's my first oh, I don't think I can actually. planning order. Can we just confirm? Right. So there's a seven there. Yep. There's nowhere for a seven no, here. There's nowhere for seven there. There's so nowhere for a twelve. Because I've put a twelve yeah. there. So we've both got the same one. Yeah. Oh no. Fifteen's terrible. No, fifteen's good for me. Is it? It's terrible yeah. for me. Ten's not bad actually. Oh ten with that. Awesome. So I could put my fifteen in there. Thirteen. No, no, ten. They're both good for me, ten and oh, oh do I put a ten in one? I've got a ten. Hmm. So that can go down to eight and up to twelve. Yeah, I'm doing that. I'm going to put it in there. So I'm putting that in as an eight. And I've crossed off one of those. So it was a 10, yeah. So that has to be 9, oh. 10, or 11. And that has to be 8, 9, or 10 for there. I've opened it up a little bit then. Oh, there's nothing there. Okay, let's give these a shovel. So, how's your game going so far? Um, it started off well. I had a couple of runs and I was like, yes, this is going well. But now it's actually harder because it's more difficult to squish them in. <laughs> squish being the operative word. <laughs> one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, I've got that one. That's good. That's good. Two, five. So that is a two, a three, and a five. Can you use the same things for that? Yeah. That and that. Oh, really? So, oh, I shouldn't have put that there then because I've already got one. It. What did I do that for? I could have put it there and I could have got that one now. Fool. Oh, the first one's an eight. <gasps> ding, ding, ding. Doesn't help me. <laughs> may assist me. I may be doing that. There's no pools. And I have three pools to complete at this stage. Yeah, I'm not. I don't. Well, maybe. I'm well, a it's not just that, but you, they. They're empty spaces, aren't they? Yeah. Which means the game ends quicker. <gasps> mm, that's got some potential. I think mine's still be eight at the moment. The thing is, I'm relying on literally a six there, <laughs> for example. Or a bis, to be fair. You can always fill it in with a bis. Mm. Oh, actually, I haven't yeah. used any bisses yet. I have a minus one. Okay, that's what we got. So seven, eight, and ten. Seven's no good for me. 
10. I'd rather wait for a call. I'm going to go for the 8. I have to go for the 10. 6, 5, 4. So, so based on what you said, if I put, just so I can confirm, if I put a line there which creates a 2, a 3, and then a yeah. 5, I get that one as well. Yeah. So that becomes 13 in number 3. I have to look it over. So I just want to, that one's right there. Oh, that pool is not useful. <laughs> Oh one. my god, that one is great. <laughs> yeah, I'm there with that. Heavenly. <laughs> okay, ready? It's tight now. Oh, that's useful. Let's see if I can at least play. Oh. I'm taking the six. Yeah, I think I'm going to do that because I was waiting for a six. So the six and increase the value of. This is where it goes wrong. Well, I've got no low I know numbers I'm taking. Left. I'm taking the five. I've got no low numbers left. And the problem is, I've only got low numbers left. I've only got high numbers left, and I think I'm going to have to not play. That's a shame. Am I right? I don't know. You got five, six, and seven. So, uh, yeah, five, six, and seven. And none of them are this. I can't play. No. Nope. Oh no. Yeah, I don't think I'll be playing this turn either. Oh no. Can't place. I can't place. So if you can place, but for example, I could put a number in there but it not have the pool. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. So that becomes a. Oh no. It doesn't work. Does <laughs> it, it doesn't work, no. And I think. The game's over. The game's over because. Okay, so let's do some points. Let me just check. Put your cross in. Six, seven, eight. No, I can't do it. Oh. <sighs> I wanted one more fence at least. Yeah. That's not fair. So we add up at the bottom. Yep. So, so I only got you... one objective, which is awful. Um, but so we got ten there, seven, six are there. That's thirty. That's good. That's seventeen. So are we adding? Sorry, with the these. Yeah, it's whatever's currently revealed. So it, for example, four plus two is six plus four. So I'm just ten. checking the barriers for scoring, the road barriers for scoring. Oh, you've got loads of those. So you uh, got, you I got, got seven, seven and, and then you I got four. four. And then, so I've got one development of one, which is three. Four. Development of two is one, so it's two points. Development of three, none. Development of four, that's eight. Development of five. One. Is it only if they're in fences? Yep. Oh, no. Development of six. What if they're not in fences? <laughs> then it doesn't count. Oh, that's really annoying because I've got a development of six here. No, you haven't. But it hasn't got a line in it. No, it's, so it's not. It's oh, not no. A I forgot this about this game. That's a three. So okay. I've got one five. <laughs> I can't do this. 14, Have a score. Uh, lost count. So there's no fence in the top, so that doesn't count. <laughs> so no. one, two, three, four, five. So that's one, five there. One, two, three, four, one, four there. That doesn't count because there's no line. No. I presume that would have to be. Oh, so, yeah. One, if you had a building there, it'd be a two. There. Yeah. One, two there. Yeah. One, two there. And a one. one there. So one times three is three. three. Two times four. 
two. Is four. Yeah. Two times two is oh, four. Sorry, I thought you said four. Yeah. Four times one is four. Seven times one is seven. One times eight is eight. And none there. So minus five in the last column. Zero there. Isn't the only bit, but minus five. Okay, so total them up. I think <laughs> it could be quite close, actually. I think you might just pit me at this. Am I doing this? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so tw 22, 32, 53, 57, 60, 68, 76, mm -hmm. 76 plus 7 is 76 plus 7 83. 83 minus 5 is 78. And I got <gasps> 76. Oh, well done. So <laughs> one fence would have made all the difference. <laughs> yeah, it really would. But you would have made a lot of difference up here as well because I would yeah. have got an additional six. Yeah. So, for those of you who are unsure, always make sure you divide up your suburbs yeah. because otherwise, just you know, bad things happen with the scoring. Yes, it um, does. But that's fun. I enjoy. I I really enjoy Welcome to. It's a really straightforward game. Yes. There's just enough complexity to keep the game interesting and loads of replayability and variety in the objectives and how you put your streets together. Yeah, you can. Uh, I mean, I find the pools very obsessive. The pools are like my it's this one kind of an addiction. Yeah, because <laughs> it's like look how pretty it is. Uh, you want to make the perfect neighbourhood. Um, I have also had one practice of the solo variant of this game as well. It's very good. Um, I enjoyed it and I felt that I learned more about the game through doing the solo variant. Oh, okay, interesting. So um, just trying to remember what all the different parts of the parts are. But the only thing is that when you turn one of these over, that's the end of the game. Just one? The, the hidden amongst. Uh, okay, interesting. And then when you turn it over, if you haven't got that, that bank, that's quite oh, that's quite harsh. But actually, I prefer to do it this way. Okay. I found that too harsh. I know it's different when you've got two players, but the this I struggle to get my head around that because I just try and get the numbers anyway. Yeah, I like you um, use this if you cock something up. Uh, yeah, you know, like it's not like I, I cocked suppose up it's here there instead but, of rubbing out, isn't yeah. it? I suppose so. Yeah. So yeah, um, I like this. I like the the planning um, addition. Because obviously it gives you something to aim for. The only thing is that if you are going pool crazy like I was, or I mean, you use a lot more temps, so that helps you obviously fill yeah. a lot of areas in, which I think is a fantastic little mechanism in the game. Um, I think you do end up forgetting about the fences, which is my one downfall. Yeah. I always really forget to, about the fences because you really need to focus I had a on fantastic fences. run here and then yeah, no, I fence. no fences. And like what, I, I, ironically, one fence in the middle of it, I would have scored you quite a lot of exactly, points. Yeah. I think it's, is it 12 across the top? 1, 2, 3, yeah. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So you can divide yeah. that into two fives really easily yeah. and it's, it's done then. And that yeah. would have given you what, two fives would have given you another 16 points. Another 16 points, so... <laughs> Typical, but never mind. But fantastic little game. Um, I definitely recommend it. It's a lot of fun and it's a really good one. And it's fairly straightforward if you are new to board games as well. It's also one on Christmas Day that you can get everyone yeah. around, like yeah. a large, you know, if you've got eight of your own Christmas at the yeah. table, you can always sit down and play this at the end of dinner, after dinner. Yeah. Um, it's not like overly thinky. You can play it with just for fun or you can play it quite seriously. It's kind of fine either way. I think you could also socially distance play it as yeah, well. Yeah, you could. I've, I, 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 well, before we get hit lockdown two, mm -hmm. um, I was tempted to like do a projector of this and all about like loads <gasps> of people playing it. That's such a good idea. Such a good idea. Anyway, <laughs> so that's welcome to. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe to the channel. We really appreciate your time. Don't forget, you can also follow us on Twitter Facebook and Instagram. Just search for Ludus Volpes. Thank you for your time. Take care. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.